Here in Studio One, we can customize our interface with a bunch of different color options. So let's go ahead and head right in. First, we'll come up here to Studio One and Options. We'll start here at General in the Appearance tab. Right here, we can change the color of the background with our hue shift. You can see that there. Now you'll really see this if I jack up the saturation. Now you can really see that color for this uh, hue shift here. So adjust that however you like. You can change your luminance so we can have sort of a, a white or bright background. As you can see there, we have contrast. You'll really see this if I pull this down here, pull the luminance down. And let's pull the contrast way down here. Look at these words, for example. Now pull the contrast up. They're gonna really pop out uh, quite a bit more. Then down here we have our arrangement settings. Now our arrangement is this window just uh, you know just in here, okay? In Pro Tools, we call this whole thing the edit window here in Studio One. It's the song page and this is the arrangement view right here. So for just the arrangement, we can change the luminance as you can see. So that's just the arrangement, whereas up here is the the, uh, you know, the entire interface, all right? So you can have a nice, you know, white uh, interface if you prefer that. And of course, contrast, we pull this down, contrast for just our arrangement. I pull that way down. We can't even see our, our lines there. If I pull it up, grab it here, pull it up, those lines come right through, okay? Change our hue again. And if there's something that you like that you come across, say this, for example, we could store that as a preset. Just choose OK if you like it. And then recall that right here with load presets. Now they already have a bunch of presets in here that you can just choose, uh, go through here and find what you like. And of course, switch it back to default. Or of course, reset as well. So now let's move on to some other color settings. But before we do that, let's come over here to advanced. And under editing, we have colorized track controls, which would be over here. If I select that and choose apply, then we have color on the track controls there. I'm gonna take it off for now. And come here to console. And right here we can colorize channel strips. Select that, hit apply. And now these strips down here are colorized. But we can actually access those controls somewhere else as well. So for our channel strips, we could come over here to the wrench icon and just colorize our channel strips right there. If you want the entire strip colorized. And then up here, again, the wrench. And down here, we can colorize track controls, select that. And now our track controls are colorized, instead of just having just that strip colorized. All right, if I take it off, of course, just the strip is colorized. Let's turn that back on for now. There we go. So let me hide the mix window for now. And we can also come over here and of course, color our tracks. So to do that, I can just click a color strip once and we get our color palette. And right now it's gonna change the strip, the channel here, the controls and the clip. All right, just do that to whatever uh, you like here. MIDI and of course audio as well. But what if you want to color, say maybe just a clip? So if I just want to color the clip, and not the track, I can right click that clip, choose our color strip, and then change the color of just the clip. So now our clip is a different color from our track, okay? Come down here to mix. I can, of course, click once down here and get our color palette and change the color of our channel, our clip, and of course our track here as well. Do that all at once. Also, let me hide this one more time. We have different clips right here all split up. Same thing, I can right click here and I can change each of these to something different if I wanted to. Just right click, choose your strip and maybe white for that and just choose whatever you like. And there you go. And now if I come over here to change the color of our track, it's just going to affect just the track and not each of those clips. Okay, so I'll make it red. I'm in here to mix, you can see that there and change it here as well. Green, so now we just have green here, green here, and everything else is left just how we had it, uh, how we had it set. Furthermore, we could we just select this here for now, and we'll open up our edit view. Another thing you can do, of course, you have your strip right here, so we can change that strip right here. I can right click in here, 
and I can change just that clip. Okay, as you can see, it changed here and here. Now keep in mind, I had already changed the color of this clip separately from the track. So if I had, oh, something like this selected here, and now I change colors, everything is gonna change colors because we haven't customized the color of that clip yet. All right, so now I could right click here and change this to say a yellow. And now if I change the color of the track, again, just the track will be affected. Nice blue, there you go. Of course, make that MIDI bigger, as we already know from previous videos. And there you go, so that's a bunch of your color options. Now there's one more thing I will mention here. Come down here, and we'll open up Impact XT. Now some of these plugins, we can actually change the skin color of these as well. Just head to this Personas icon, click it, and that will change the skin. All right, so that's a bunch of color options here in Studio One to really customize your interface, get just the colors that you want.